Okay, Bob Guestin here, and today we're going to talk about the vernier caliper. Now, calipers can be vernier. This is a vernier. They can have a dial on it, in which case it'd be a dial, or more increasingly in industry, we have a digital. The thing about the vernier caliper is, one, I'm not hitched to a battery like you would be with a digital caliper, or a dial that a piece of dirt can get into and skip the gear tooth. Also, once you learn to read this tool, you will be able to master any linear measuring tool on this planet. This is not an impossible tool to read. It can get confusing, but again, it's one of these tools that once you get the principles down, you need to practice with it. Now, this Vernier caliper is also known as a Mauser pattern caliper. Peter and Paul Mauser, the German gun makers, they developed this caliper. The original caliper wouldn't have had all these little niceties on it. Now, the first thing you'll notice with the caliper is that we have the beam. This is the part that does not slide. This is the beam. We now have the sliding jaw, and I'm going to get it up here. The part that moves, that's our sliding jaw. We have our vernier scale on the sliding jaw and our solid steel scale on the solid, on the solid piece, the beam. We'll get into reading that in a little bit. We can be able, to, with this type of caliper, we can measure outside measurements with these outside jaws. We can measure inside measurements like a hole. We can measure it with these inside jaws. If you can see here, and I'm going to hold this steady so I quit jerking around for the cameraman, I can measure depth using this rod here on the back side. This is not a standard pat Mauser pattern, but if this was flat back here, I could measure using these flats. So you've got multiple ways of measuring with this thing. Now, this is precision measurement, as opposed to the square and the steel rule and tape measure, which would have been semi-precision measurement. Precision measurement is anything that is a thousandth of an inch or less. In this case here, this has the ability to measure in thousandths of an inch. That's a three-place decimal. To give you an idea, the piece of notebook paper you're using in your class is about three thousandths of an inch thick. Doesn't seem like much, but whether again you're in automotive machining, industrial technologies, three thousandths of an inch can be the difference between success and failure. And with that, that concludes this portion of the video.